with a Midwest city woman losing everything in a house fire. The blaze starting in her garage and eventually eating its way through her entire home. And she says now she's left with nothing. News Force Taylor Mitchell is live at the scene after talking with her today. Taylor. Well, Natalie, as you can see, everything around me in the home is at a total loss. The family says it's not about the material items, but about the memories that are now gone. They are also very grateful that no family members were killed during the fire. It was like of a horror movie, like literally I was terrified. I was distraught, shocked, just hysterical. Candace Moten says she was at work when the blaze began, but her son and two grandchildren were sleeping in this room when it happened. I pulled up to get ready to come in the house. They were running out screaming, call 911, and smoke was coming behind them. And they didn't have on any shoes, and I was just like panicked. Moten, now with nothing, says she's grateful everyone made it out alive. I thank God that we're alive. My granddaughter and my grandson did not die, and my son. So that's what I'm thankful for. But in tears, unfortunately, her service dog didn't make it. My pregnant Rottweiler died, and they bust the back window to get my cat out. The Midwest City Fire Department tells us the fire started in the garage, and that's where she says her dog was at during the time of the fire. And the fire was shooting up in the air with black smoke. And I was just screaming, you know, please try to save my dog, and they couldn't. Her granddaughter, there at the time of the fire, says it was scary, but she's more worried about her grandmother. I feel very sad because my, my grandmother has nowhere to stay. She has to stay with family. She doesn't have her house. Well, the family has set up a GoFundMe for her. We'll make that information available on our website soon at k4.com. Live in Midwest City, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4.